Hey boys and girls, I'm back with another video on how to use the date-based property inside Clavio to create flows and customer experiences. First of all, when you're deploying these types of flows, it's very important to consider what type of data you want to collect from subscribers and also have some type of actionable plan. If you do collect this type of personal data, then obviously there's some type of expectation that you're actually going to use something for it with it, sorry. So always bear that in mind when you are asking customers to provide sensitive data to you. Okay, so with that being said, first place I recommend navigating to to collect this data is your preference center. Now let me clean my face off. So you can see here we have a jewelry store, one of our clients, and we're trying to collect the following date-based properties. The first met anniversary date for their partner, their personal birthday, the wedding anniversary date, and also their partner's birthday. And you can see here the properties are configured to collect this in the date-based format. So basically that is what we've decided to create. Now, how is this used? Okay, let me give you a couple of examples. So if you navigate over to a flow, you can see here, we're going to trigger two weeks before someone's birthday and trigger this flow. So after you've collected that date-based property, you can then come to triggers, set up a flow that sends them a birthday gift, for example. You can see here, we've waited a couple of weeks and then on their birthday at 12 p.m., they get an SMS if they're consented. If not, they're just going to receive another email follow-up and I'm guessing the Strats just has delivered some type of coupon code or just a personalized message in these emails. To give you another example, the first Met anniversary date flow. So start two weeks before someone's first Met anniversary date. So obviously, logically, we're trying to stay top of mind should they wish to gift their partner some type of item on this day, hopefully with something from this store. So we've went in with a subject line. Do you remember when the first time you met? And then again, on someone's anniversary date, we're just going to go in and basically just give them a congratulations message. Hopefully it's a healthy relationship. So that's how it works. You can start to collect this pretty much instantaneously. There's a few ways to do it. You can either ask for the data on a front end sign up form on the website. So pop up and collect it that way. You can target returning customers with pop-ups who go to your website as well. And you can just send generalized campaigns to direct people to this preference center where they include the date-based property and update it manually. So many ways to collect this data, tons of cool opportunities to personalize the experience. Always have a plan for what you're going to collect and how you're going to use it. Hopefully that helps. Any questions, please drop me a comment down below and I'll get back to you. Cheers.